Well, he's pretty big. Fire everything you've got. Hello, this is Heisenberg. Hi there, this is G Forever. And we've got the world exclusive first review of the Pacific Rim Uprising action figures. Yes, from Diamond Select Toys. Alrighty, so they're from Diamond. So they're not in stores yet, but Diamond Select Toys was nice enough to uh, send us send us the wave one of their Pacific Rim Uprising action figures. So here's the box. So we're gonna take it out of the box and show you the packaging. And then later we'll take it out of the packaging and do a review and we'll compare it to other figures and we're gonna have a great time. <laughs> okay, so let's see what's in here. Wow, look at this. Gypsy Avenger. Yep, yep, so we got that. And then we got Saber Athena. And looks like Racer Phoenix. Yeah, we get this. So yeah, let's get the box out of the way. Yeah, at the packaging, it's beautiful. Um, I'm actually not too familiar with uh, the Marvel no, toys. So. Zoom in here. But um, you know, this, this is my first time seeing um, you know seeing uh, Diamond Selects uh, figures up close, and and they're beautiful. Yeah, so one thing I like about this package, it's actually raised up. Part of the plastic is mm -hmm. raised up. I don't know how well this is showing. Yeah, right here. like, And it has the, um, I guess, a silhouette of the uh, characters. So yeah, it looks like Saber Athena is going to be, uh, is going to have a female pilot. Actually, and the uh, Jaeger reminds me a bit of uh, e Evangelion. Oh yeah, because of the, kind of like the fin look, right? Yeah. So yes, yeah, so this is wave one. Uh, these are the standard editions, so these are going to be sold at uh, Toys R Us, oh, for really? example. Oh, so there'll be, uh, I guess, exclusive versions of these later Yeah, on? and then there's also some deluxe versions. Wow, that sounds exciting. Yeah, that are going to be at uh, 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 comic book stores and also oh, sold online. Very the cool. The deluxe versions will have more accessories. And again, these look like they're 7-inch figures, mm -hmm. sell for $25 a piece. We got our Jaeger pilot hats. So let's, uh, yeah, yeah, let's open these. We're gonna uh, cut while we open these up and start uh, and start piloting our Jaegers. Yeah, sounds, sounds awesome. All right, so here they are, the Diamond Select um, Pacific Rim Uprising figures unboxed. All righty. Yeah, we're gonna look them over. We're gonna look at the articulation, and then we're gonna answer the question: How do they compare to the NECA Pacific Rim figures? Yeah, I mean, so far um, they're very impressive. Um, I think I, I, you know, the size-wise, they're pretty good. They're pretty, especially Gypsy uh, Avenger, pretty, pretty tall. Let me start moving um, them around here. Yeah, and um, you know, lots of articulation. So you know, you can move the head, the the torso, arms, um, and shoulder pads give you know have a little movement. Uh, the elbows and the wrist you have the double knee joint move down to the knee yeah um, and you can move the uh, ankle too yeah it's a very solid figure i love the um you know the articulation on this guy um the paint job is um it's really nice. Yeah, the detail is uh, very good too. Very deep, yeah. I think like the colors, they, they really stand out. You can see all the lines are very clean. Um, this Gypsy Avenger appears to have a dual core. And I like how the uh, paint um, on it kind of fades in very well. Yeah. I like the face. I think the... Mm, uh, the face is nice. It's uh, good looking. I yeah. like the design. Definitely. And yeah. I like the, uh, but yeah, uh, and I like that they've, uh, it's what, again, very well defined detail. Mm. Yeah, very well made and well done and a very nice sculpt. This guy had, comes with two accessories, uh, left arm and right arm. So it looks like the right arm has a, uh, a like a sword uh, or chainsaw sword. Um, so so you want to pop his arm off uh, right where um, I guess the this meets. I don't know if you can see it. So right above the elbow. Right above the elbow. Um, so yeah, you can 
pose him with the uh, the sword. So pretty neat. And yeah, I think the uh, I think the right arm is um, when Gypsy uh, uses his uh, plasma cannon. So let me try to pop this arm off. There he is. All right, so now he has the, the alternate uh, arms. So there's going to be at comic book stores again. They'll sell the deluxe version. Mm. Also sell the deluxe version online, and those will have more accessories. Oh, that should be fun. And we saw some of those at uh, on display at New York Comic Con. So I'll I'll uh, put put that video in. I'll put the video in of the uh, of the deluxe accessories mm. that uh, you know as they were on display at New York Comic Con. Yeah, Another so um, let's take a look at, um, I think, Saber Athena. So this, you, uh, I think uh, you mentioned, Heisenberg, you mentioned this uh, is a she? Yeah, I believe so. I believe this is uh, piloted by a female, uh, okay. female pilot. Yeah, so she comes with um, just a sword. There's the sword. Yep. Yeah, you want to lower it slightly. Yep, so I'm just going to spin it. That's the blade, and this is the... Um, uh, the handle. I'm assuming with the deluxe, they might have alternate hands, so it probably yeah, holds so think, the holds so yeah, the sword a little better. Yeah, so I think with the deluxe version of the figure, you get uh, all, yeah, you get another set of hands. And maybe a secondary hold. sword too. Who yeah. Knows? yeah, and I think uh, yeah, oh yeah, yeah. So once again, they were on this. It was on display at New York. So I'll cut to that video. Yep. So I'm gonna take her sword off so it doesn't fall down when we review. So yeah, it looks like um, she has the knees. Um, uh, the ankle and torso moves. Uh, the head. So the shoulder pads. Um, oops. Yeah, it looks like she she probably does come with alternate hands uh, in the deluxe version. So yeah, you can move the the wrists. Um, so she can bend her arms back. So that's pretty cool. So you can kind of do um, almost like a kung fu. Um, you know, kung fu poses maybe. <laughs> uh, so it's pretty neat. Um, let's see here. So elbows. And one thing is pretty neat. Like as you move her um, her arms, like the the back the back fins move too. So you can actually. Uh, it looks like they're they're oh uh, yeah they're a little yeah. bit separate. So. Oh yeah, yeah. So they don't have to. Uh, yeah, they don't have to point out. Yep, they don't oh, have to point out. So pretty neat. Um, curious uh, how they play in the movie, but yeah. But then this has like kind of like a cat look to on the chest. It's, oh, okay. To me, it looks like the chest looks like uh, like it's like it's uh, like it's an animal, like mm. a cat. Yeah, yeah. She does look very like, um, like a almost like those Japanese robots. Um, she even has like these kind of wings. Uh, on the legs, yeah, and um, I'm a huge uh, Zone of the Enders um, uh, fan of the video game and, and the anime series, um, and like the back the back wings and these yeah, kind of yeah. resemble that those yeah, mechas see, too. Okay, yeah, okay. Let's see the wings there. Yep. Yep. There she is. So here are the wings on the uh, right behind the leg. So here's this guy. Racer Phoenix. Um, he actually doesn't have any uh, accessories. Yeah, the standard version. It's the standard version. So um, yeah, I think with the deluxe version, you get more. Yeah, from the picture on the box, he may have guns that come out of his chest. Um, yeah, this is interesting. Standard version doesn't seem to have the the chest. Yeah, the guns in the chest. Mm -hmm. If they're if they're there, I haven't found them. But he's more bulky, as you see. It seems like a more armored um, Jaeger. And uh, you can move the arms, move the uh, wrists. You can't bend the wrist. Uh, this one you could. Let's see. Yep, you could bend the wrist. Okay, so that's good. Um, you can do a lot more different poses. Um, this one you can move the the toes. Oh yeah, there it is. That's the so toe. You have a little movement here. Uh, ankle and double jointed knee and just the leg in general so you can do some stomping stomping motions torso you can move the torso um, and then the elbows and the arms so pretty good oh yeah looking good there
All oh, right. Cool. So you want to compare? So I'm very excited. Yeah. So you want to compare the, uh, the NECA? So what do you Gypsy? think? NECA and, and Diamond Select. The original Gypsy Danger. This is by NECA. Yeah, I'm a big fan of NECA's figures, and they do excellent work, especially for the price. It's just, it's quite uh, very impressive. So I was curious to see, it's like, well, how's Diamond Select Toys going to compare? And actually, and actually the Diamond Select Toy actually is uh, very comparable. And if anything, I think we like it, said we like the Diamond Select Toy, uh, you know, a little bit better. Because, well, not only is it bigger, but, uh, but yeah, again, the detail, the detail is a little better. It's a little cleaner yeah. and more pronounced. But yeah, looking at the heads, for example. Mm -hmm. Like, just heads. look at the visor, like, yeah, sure. So just looking at the visor, for example, it just looks, you know, the, the yellow is just like one, like a single, um, you know, single shade. Yep, so I do like how they kind of gave it a, more of like a glow, um, but that paint just doesn't look clean. Like if you see it, it's, you know, it's a little bit on the edges. Um. Oh yeah, yeah, so I'm actually surprised. So yeah, like looking at the heads, for example, mm -hmm. as we're doing, like the uh, neck, the uh, NECA head uh, is okay, but actually the Diamond Select Toys head looks uh, looks actually much nicer, yeah. yeah, much cleaner, much uh, cleaner and more pronounced. Yeah. But, um, I mean, they're both great figures. Um, oh, yeah. So yeah. we got two winners here. Yeah. Yeah, so, um, I mean, I'm very excited uh, for these uh, new figures from Diamond uh, Select Toys. Um, I actually didn't know about them, so thank you, uh, Heisenberg, for uh, bringing them over. Oh, yeah, yeah. Again, these are, uh, yeah, these are quite, quite excellent. I'm very excited. Mm. Yeah, this is Wave 1. Looking forward to uh, Wave 2. Yep. Hoping they do make that Kaiju. That, oh, they had, be awesome. uh, that they had on display that ha had on display at New York Comic Con. And yeah, it's for $25. It's like, uh, oh yeah, this is excellent. Now these are not in stores yet. So they're going to be, they are, the standard version will be sold at Toys R Us and stores, mm -hmm. you know, big stores like that. Yep. The, uh, but the uh, deluxe version with more accessories will be sold at comic book stores oh, and, interesting. On, and online. Mm -hmm. So, uh, so I would try to get, so I would recommend. You know, try, uh, trying to seek out the uh, deluxe versions. Very cool. Alrighty, so so once again, I'm Heisenberg and G Forever, hoping you um, you know keep out a lookout for these guys in store soon.